Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today we're going to be talking about what should you name your LLC? It is very common for my clients to get stuck when deciding what to name their limited liability company. So let's talk about what are the requirements for naming your LLC, and then what should you think about when you're deciding what to name your LLC? So in every state, they're going to have specific requirements for what words can or can't be used in an LLC. Now, first, you're always going to have to have some designation of it being an LLC. So everyone knows we're talking about an LLC. Obviously, it could be LLC or L period, L period, C period. And in California, you can also put limited liability company, like that whole thing written out, which that would be pretty intense, or abbreviations of that. So like LTD, liability, CO but I don't know if I've ever had anyone do that. I think people either use LLC or L period, L period, C period, most often LLC. Then the name has certain requirements of what things can or can't be used. So it needs to be, needs to use the English alphabet and you can also have numbers in it, numerals in it. So it can be, you know, one, two, three, ABC kind of stuff, but you can also have a few symbols. In California, there's a list of symbols that you can have. So it's things like the pound sign, the at symbol, a little up carrot, an and, people use and a lot, um, a plus symbol. So there's certain symbols that can be included in the name. It can have a dot com, the, you know, such and such dot com LLC. There's a fair amount of flexibility on what can go in that name. It cannot have something though that misleads the public. So in California, what misleads the public, public is if you have the word insurance, but it's not an insurance company. If you have something that looks like, you know, it says bank and it's not a bank. Or if you have a word like agency, board, commission, things that look like it's a government agency that's confusing to the public and it's going to get rejected. And then of course it can't already be taken, but here's the thing. It can't already be taken in California. So if someone else has an LLC with the exact same name in Nevada or New York or whatever, California does not care. It's just, is it have, is that name taken in California? They also don't look at trademarks. So they're not going to do a trademark search. You may come up with a name that gets through here in California, but technically there's another name with the same business. Uh, in the same area of business in Kansas, and they have a trademark on that name, and you're gonna have troubles once you start using it. So it doesn't give you rights to use it from a trademark perspective or in other states. It's just saying whether you got the name here in California for your LLC. Now, let's say you actually met those qualifications, and it's gonna be slightly different in different states, by the way, so you have to check what the rules are in that particular state that you're in. What should you actually pick? Typically we fall in two different categories. One is to have the LLC have your brand name in it. So it's amazon.com LLC. It's the brand that you actually use. The other option is to have a holding company name. So I could have a LLC that's named EPW Media Holdings LLC, and that could hold all of my YouTube channels, for example. Even though they're un in unrelated areas, it's all owned by this holding company LLC. So why would you want to pick one versus the other? So the brand name works best if it's just going to have that bit, one business in it and you're pretty settled on the brand name. You've done a trademark search. You, you know that you're going to be using that. The holding company name is great if you have no idea what to name it. And so you just pick something and if it's going to have multiple businesses under it, if you're stuck and you haven't finalized your trade name, your marketing name, if you can't figure out what to pick, I highly recommend you just pick some kind of holding company name. And typically what my clients do is they have it be a variation on their own name. They use their initials like EPW, which is what my law firm is, EPW, small business law. But you can also have it be very general like international or media or holdings or something like that. You can change the LLC name later, okay? It's gonna be a little bit of logistics because you have to file something with the state and then you have to update it in all the other places where you filed anything, but it's totally possible to do. This is not the end of the world if you need to change it in the future. But here's the thing, do not get stuck here. I have had clients over the years who's literally spent two months, three months, four months before they could pick a name. The legal name of your LLC 
barely matters at all because you can always do a DBA and have a different marketing name. It does just pick something, just decide what it is, make sure it complies with the rules, of course, and get that LLC on file. So you're not stuck at something that really doesn't matter that much as long as it complies with the rules and you can move forward in starting and growing your business. Again, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this. You can support the channel by going to the Patreon link and then you can leave a comment below if you have any questions about what I've talked to you about today and I will try to answer them by pointing you in the right direction. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.